it's been a while since we made a cooking video and I thought it would be good just to change things up a bit again because for the last while it's only been us planting seedlings and trying to grow trees from cuttings so I decided to prepare fillet for our family tonight the real farm style fillet mignon basically a farm style fillet dish for our family and I'll call it fillet in a skillet Good evening and welcome back to One Step at a Time Farmstead. I'm Lucas and I'm here with my wife Daniel and we are in the kitchen in the kitchen again tonight just trying to shake things up a bit and it's been a while since we've made a cooking video. I decided that we will make some fillet in a skillet tonight. Something simple and I hope you share, share in our fun. Anything you want to say? <laughs> yeah. Let's start cooking. Along with the fillet, the deal is cooking some mashed potatoes for us. Yeah. Yeah, meat and starch. Something simple. <laughs> okay, so the first thing that I want to do is just quickly go over our simple ingredients. Okay, here's our tenderloin um, or fillet as it's known in South Africa. Basically, it's the beef tenderloin that I've cut into about two, two and a half inch pieces. And just make sure that it's very dry. Just dry it off with a paper towel. And you want to have it by uh, more or less room temperature. You don't want to use it straight from the fridge. You want to have it basically at room, room temperature and then we are going to pan sear it. And while we pan sear it, we are also going to baste it a bit and the spices that we are going to use. It's normal salt and black pepper. The onion powder is also just to spice it with, you know, that we are going to coat and season our meat with. And while it is in the pan, we are going to add garlic, rosemary, some bay leaves, only two little bay leaves, it's only for a bit of flavor. And I'm going to use about two cloves as well, just to add to the meatiness of the steak. Okay, so first thing that we are going to do, oops, sorry babes. is just to generously salt a season your steak and I want to add a bit of salt on the cutting board as well because I'm going to roll my steak in it basically Thank you. Okay, and pepper as well. And a little bit of onion powder, you can just sprinkle. <laughs> Are you willing? Great. So what we want to do is make sure that the steak is well coated on all sides. We need more salt, we can just add more. But yeah, season it very well. Can I 
se nos fue como corre muy frío. <risa> I can smell the um, onion powder. Yeah. Because the fan is on and then it's going through the house. <laughs> no, you don't need much onion powder. It's so only for flavor. A little bit too much. Uh -huh. Okay. So I can't just stay quiet in the video. I must talk. It's a gewoonte. It's a habit. 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 A habit for a hobbit. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. I'm coming in. You must talk, Mom. Oh yes, that's nice. Okay, you see mostly the steam, but but you can see as well the the potatoes. Yes, the pota the potatoes. Thank you. Okay, potatoes are ready. Say potato in Afrikaans. Art pota, art pota. Sorry, my tongue is too steam. So the next thing we need is our cast iron skillet with just a bit of uh, canola oil or vegetable oil and then you can put it on high heat. So we are just waiting for it to get onto a high heat. As soon as we start seeing, we can basically see the oil starting to move around. And the moment we start seeing a bit of smoke coming up is when we will put the uh, fillet steaks in. Okay, so I believe our skillet is nice and hot. So in with the steak. Now we just basically want to sear the meat in the skillet and sometimes it will get stuck to the skillet but as soon as it is seared it will release again but it takes about two to three minutes for it to sear and you know actually have that millet, millet reaction where we basically seal in the juices and create a bit of a crust on the on this uh, meat okay so while the meal is making a uh, mashed potatoes I'm just going to turn these around and sear it on all sides Actually, my pan wasn't as hot as I thought. But it's all good. Okay, so while this is going, I'm just going to add about two teaspoons of, uh, two tablespoons of butter. Okay, that's all a bit more. <laughs> A generous amount of butter and I'm taking my garlic and just crushing it and adding that adding the cloves the bay leaves 
and the star rosemary and basically what we want to do now is just get this married in there and then we want to keep basting keep basting the tenderloin with our butter and herbs Okay, this really didn't, I didn't sear it well enough, but it is okay. Next time will be better, but even for a floppy, this one will be awesome. It smells awesome. Okay, now we turn it around. the meat okay and what we want to do now basically after we seared our steak and had it basted for a while because it's such thick pieces I mean it's about two and a half inches thick we are going to, it's not going to cook all the way through, so we are going to put it in the oven for about 7 to 8 minutes on 290 degrees Celsius. I'll put on the screen whatever that is in Fahrenheit to have it medium, medium red to medium. And I'm just going to put the whole skillet in like this. and have it go for about seven to eight minutes. So coming out of the oven, I'm just gonna put it here on my chopping board and let it rest for about 10, 15 minutes. We are just going to let them stand for about 10 minutes. I'm also going to remove the rosemary and the garlic and the cloves and bay leaves from the pan because I'm going to reduce the sauce a bit and use it to make a wonderful pepper sauce. But anyway, I'm going to reduce the sauce, then use it as a base to make my pepper sauce. Okay, so time to cut into our steak and it's a bit overcooked <laughs> more to the medium well side so I think I just made a mistake with adding too much of the meat into the pan at once and not having my temperature right but it's still Tastes amazing. We just had one of the smaller pieces while off camera. And I'm having another one now. But yeah, it still tastes amazing. So yeah, I still need to work on my technique, obviously. But it is still a great meal. Oops, and we are still, it's a little bit more than medium, as you can see there. It's just a little bit over medium, but more to the medium well side, uh, side but still very juicy. And we are still grateful to God for a wonderful, wonderful meal that we can prepare and enjoy as a family. 
So we're going to dish this up with some mash and pepper sauce over our tenderloin. But there we go, a real farm style tenderloin in the skillet. Fill it in a skillet. Will you have funny pepper sauce or your mash of your steak? Is it fine? Yeah. So there we have it. Actually, the meat, or most of the meat, did come out nice and medium. Those on that side is a bit more medium well, but I think it's because they were smaller pieces. But it looks awesome. 
and it may not be perfect, but we are still so grateful to have this as a meal tonight. From our kitchen table, we just want to say thank you very much for spending time with us and thank you for spending time with me while I'm trying to exercise my cooking skills. <laughs> To my family, thank you for being patient <laughs> and for giving. Um, but yeah, if you like this content, please like and share with your friends. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, we have a 12 week challenge where I try and post three times a week. And yeah, in this 12 weeks, we want to try and reach our th thousand subscriber mark because we want to use the money that we generate to get our God, garden market, you know, to fund our garden market that we want to create here in the front yard to open up, you know, it up for our community and share our homesteading experience with them as well as, you know, basically like a type of a home industries type of feel that we want to create and yeah to let that also be a source of income for the homestead so that we can really develop what we really want to do here so please subscribe to the channel help us grow our online community by sharing with your friends and family and like-minded people and if you like the video just th thumbs up press the icon <laughs> so yeah, thank you, we love you, and we bless you, we appreciate you, God bless you, goodbye. Bye. <laughs>